Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create equal column heights while still keeping your buttons anchored to the bottom of those columns. So for the sake of example, we're going to go ahead and create a three column layout here, but you could be using whatever layout you'd like. Now from here, we're going to add a little bit of contrast here on the background just so that we can kind of see our columns that we're working on. And these columns, I'm just going to set those to white. Now, I'm just going to work on this first one, and we'll copy and paste our styles throughout. Now, you could do this however you see fit, but let's say you were working on this and you were creating some sort of cool little layout box. Maybe you have um, an image up top, and you have some text below that. This image up top, we're going to put it in a div image tag and pop something like this in there. And this bottom one, we might just want some text. We'll make that our body text here there we go and then we also want a button now just because I like padding and I think that's doesn't really have much breathing room I'm gonna come in here on the div I'm gonna add some padding and I'm gonna add three M's all around so we have something like this but now if we were to come in here let's select our column and let's paste here and paste here so we have three columns here but let's say their text is varying in length so on this first one here let's just pop some lorem ipsum in and we'll stop here and then on the second one let's pop some lorem ipsum in but we'll stop here and then on this third one we'll go ahead and pop our entire lorem ipsum text in there you'll notice that our columns are already equal height and that is because on a row like this our vertical positioning is set to stretch now if you didn't want them to be equal height um, or maybe you've already set it to something else and so they're not equal height you might be on something like this where it's centered or maybe it's on start and so you have these different size columns but we want them to be equal height so under our vertical layout here we are going to set this to stretch which again is the default but you'll notice our buttons are still sort of like stepping stones here they're not really aligned and that's because our div containers are all different sizes so here's what we want to do we're going to start by working on this first column here on the column container we want to set this to flexbox and it's going to mess up our styles just a little bit here but that is okay on our div we'll now set this to 100 percent width and now we're back to business and on this one here it technically looks like it's 100 percent because our text is helping push it over but just to make sure things don't break we're going to set this one to 100 percent width as well so there we go now what we want to do is on our div we want to scroll down to our self flex and change this from standard to fill space and so what this is now doing is taking the div and filling all of the stretched out space here now our button still hasn't moved but now we're actually filling up this container to match the largest container in our layout here the next thing we're going to do is on our text element here and this is just a personal preference but I always want to make sure that there's some spacing so even if these containers were a little smaller I would never want the button to be this close so on our text element here I'm going to change my bottom margin here to just something arbitrary like maybe two M's so now there's always some margin here now why didn't I apply that to the button itself well because we are going to actually apply some top margin on the button and we're gonna set that top margin to auto now right off the bat it doesn't do anything here but if we now click on our parent div here and we scroll down to flexbox and we enable this it will immediately push our button to the bottom of that container so now if we were to do this throughout so let's go ahead and copy our column style so I'm just clicking on column here and copying and then I'm gonna click on our parent row here I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say paste column style so all that stuff that we did to the columns is gonna apply to these two and it ruins it but then we're gonna come here and copy paste style paste style and then here we're gonna copy our text we're gonna paste our text style so we should get that bottom margin there we go and we're gonna paste our text style here perfect I'm gonna grab our button copy paste our button style which doesn't change much yet paste our button style and then finally we're gonna copy this div which has flexbox enabled and we're going to paste our div style and paste our div style and now this container being the largest is kind of controlling the height of all of our columns but now our button is always positioned to the bottom of our container here which is nice for some visual balance 
As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and happy building.